the plank that you're going to be making is not fluffy. It's going to be quite stiff to be like a half an inch of thickness in some places. The tendency, there's a kind of tendency that if if you can edge set something, it kind of does get that. See that how that goes up. Like. And that's because of the lamination part of it. So it's really only one to bend in one way. So it kind of just kind of makes it a little bit more fluid. Now, what I like to do is have, have a spiraling bat that kind of fits in between the, 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 the marks. This, this is the marks that are, that will, this mark here that is the, the plank, the plank line. One of the little character on the point goes to, that's where the plank, the new plank is going to come to, and you want to make it to here. And you measure that on the spot. Yeah, and then we're going to record stuff with that. Okay, so I, well, I want to have this, have my smiling bat, so it kind of like fits in between those. So I'm going to just do a little, little uh, modification of this. trying to get sort of this part of the banana, but then it's going to try to pick up the curve of the shear. And then the rest of the planks are going to be curving the other one. So there's no, so there's no real straight plank anywhere on this. So you have to build the spiraling batten specifically, specifically for your planks. Are so these the planks you said were, you planed the inside of them? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. We'll get to that. Oh no, I was just wondering. Yeah. So what, one of the easiest way to build these is actually the right on the boat. You know, make a piece like this, make another piece here, glue a gusset patch to join this one here, do another one to here and make a piece that fits into the bow. So you'll have like maybe like three or four joints that you know that allow you to come around. And it has to be narrower than those. Yes. Yeah. Because and you could you're use over just the, one. You're over no, there. No, very, very unlikely. And and this is not something you really can put together on the bench. As a matter of fact, if you did it on the bench, you'd, you'd kind of be tempted to kind of like, after you went to all that trouble, to make it fit. If you a homemade club leg version. And the reason for that is you need to be able to get in underneath this here. Like so, as you if you use like a standard set of guide like this, when you're, you wouldn't be able to, you know, the, the shoulders on this wouldn't let your divider get really close. So we're going to use this little club leg version here. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to do, let's see, oh, I wonder if anyone's got a combination square of the bottom. The, the other method I can show you a lot easier. This, this is, or, or, you know, less impressive already. Okay, so I'm, doing, I'm drawing a line along parallel, along the side of, Rip or frame. Excuse me, boss. It could be either side. I'm just what well, well, I'm using the frame as a grid line to record information onto. How how important is it important to be square? Obviously, it is. Well, in in line with this, and you'll see why. <laughs> so it's in line with the rip. In, in line, either front or back. You'll 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 think this is the best thing. Whatever, it, whatever it is. Yeah. And so you, you have to do this with every. Yeah. At, at first, o over over time, the uh, and it changes actually. It changes a little bit. So I'm just gonna open up this 
no particular distance other than it can fit onto my, onto my spot on the back. You have to use the oral equivalent of the apex, where the, right down here is, you know, here's this, down in here like this. You can poke a little hole right here. You can swing it out like that. Like this. Make a little arrow go up like that. Then I can come down to here, and I can go come on here. And I'll go through the whole way here. Okay, so what, what, what's, what's that do for me? I'm going to end up, well, I'll do that one more. And okay, so go, go into Apex in here. Here. That gives you the distance, right? It does. The bottom one, what, is the, what are you marking it on? Just any? On, on that line. Oh, see where the, oh, the line. line. Okay, I, I didn't see it was off the book. Okay, so it's okay. on the line. Okay, so what? what but it's the same distance from the line, the same distance from the line. Yeah, the, 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 the divider distance is the same. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, so what what we'll eventually have, just a whole whole bunch of things like this, or the stem of the stern, or I should have a pattern of the stem. Okay, what this allows you, why this is so kind of handy is, when you pull this off the boat, it's going to have a certain amount of swoop to it. You don't know what the shape is, you know, whether it's an S, a or mustache, you know, banana, whatever it is. So you take this guy off, off the boat here, and you have your piece of cedar that you're going to put your, your smiling baton onto. Okay, now, you then you nail this guy down on top of your, your cedar. So you take him off, nail him down on top of it. That would be the whole run all worked up. That's, that's all these whole, things glued together with yeah, the vessels. That's the whole thing all worked up. Okay. So you've got this guy, he's down tacked up on top. So then you go back. Remember these nice lines, or you record this stuff on these lines. You then take take your straight edge and carry these lines out onto your, your cedar stock, top and bottom. So you're creating grid lines. So, and they're not going to be marching along 90 degrees, you know, they're, 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 they're marching out or whatever the reds are doing, but you, could, you have it has a good line. Then what you do is you then go back and you swing this back to your grid line. Okay, so you, you take this off the boat. You've got grid, you know, nailed to your cedar. You've got all those grid lines on there. Then you swing this back out onto that grid line, and you're going to have all those lines, and you're going to have a whole set of points on those lines. Okay. And so the one for the bottom is for that level, and the one for the top is the Yes. And you make sure you don't move your dividers. That's right. And so this is this this is this is how this line is. Kid says, "What's this, Dad?" <laughs> yeah. Well, see what, what we, why this is all. This is part of the full proofosity of this thing. Is that it really, if you're swinging there, probably what you're going to do is before you go to swing back, you go back and double check here and then swing back up again. So just in case someone borrowed your dividers, just in case you had to change the, the caliber because of plant that narrower back aft, this forces you to double check each time. How can you double check if you've already taken the back aft? Because it's right here. So you, 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 you. So you got that built built in. And the other thing is, is because so you see what would happen is right now the top is on the top and the top is on the bottom. But as you move aft, these lines, these points are going to reverse themselves because it gets narrower. Oh, I see. 
So what this does is this removes any kind of thinking out of there, which is always good. So, so you know that you have recorded when you pick this up here and you swung this out here and you poked that little hole and took the arrow. There's no question that's where that belongs. That goes up. And you have to work out really hard to to swing it down this way. And you're going to do that for every rib. every rib and on every plank. On every plank. Yeah. And there's no planks that are at that. It's the same procedure used on the No, much, much more straightforward. But you, okay. When you have the, the long piece of wood on the ground, mm -hmm. and you have your divider, and you put all of these vertical lines on it, mm -hmm. or do, do you need a center line? On it? How do no. you know where to put your divider the first time you go? The first time okay, you go. Let me do one more of these, and I'll take this off here and start to do, do a demo. Do you have one of those bats for every, every plank? Do you have one in your shop? Well, you store them or? Yeah, well, yeah, you could. And the thing is that, you know, if, and this, this, you know, this sounds kind of tedious. It kind of is. But if you were working by yourself and you took care to set this boat up the way that we've been doing it here, this spiling actually works for both sides. Does this budget have maybe too many rips you can take some out of? You could, but it wouldn't be right. Anyway, but uh, the, you know, the, yeah, eventually you could have patterns. But of course, this is you're doing a prototype. Right? Yeah. Okay. 